So when light hits a mirror, it reflects. So light reflects off mirror surfaces. But light refracts, so light reflects off so it bounces off, if that's easier to think of. For mirrors, and light refracts or goes through lenses. So light bounces off of mirrors, light bends or goes through lenses. And so the concept that goes with lenses is refraction. And the concept that goes with mirrors is reflection. And yes, Ref uh, lenses do reflect light also, um, otherwise you couldn't see that they were there. So they do both. Um, but the main thing for lenses is refraction and the main thing for mirrors is reflection. Okay, so let's draw two examples of lenses and mirrors to show what they do um, and to kind of give you some examples here of these. Okay, so there are two types of lenses um, that we're going to talk about. They're called concave and convex lenses. So the first type of lens looks like that one at the top. Second type of lens looks like this one here. Okay, so this is called a convex. or converging lens. And this is called a concave or diverging lens. And if you need help remembering them, here's how you remember them. Concave caves in. See how it kind of looks like a cave entrance kind of a thing? I know that's kind of cheesy and lame, but that's the way I remember them. So, convex lenses, the light comes in, The light hits where the flat part is. So the flat part we talked about in the lab is where the light bends. The flat part is the middle of the lens here. And it bends, bends, good job me. It converges, which means it comes closer together. So it does something like that. Light coming from the bottom of the lens comes in this way too and it bends towards the middle also, and it does something like that. Uh, concave or diverging lenses do what you would expect the opposite would be. So again, the flat part is kind of the middle of the lens here. So the light comes in and then bends away. Light comes in and then bends away. So lenses either bring light together or spread light apart, depending on what it is that you're looking at. But notice that in both cases, the light goes through. So the light doesn't just bounce off it goes through the lens to the other side. Um, that doesn't happen with mirrors. 
So for the two curved mirrors, draw what would happen if light is reflected. So same types of curves, a curve in, or a curve out. This is, again, the curved in is concave. But concave are the converging mirrors, so it's flipped from lenses. And convex are the diverging. So, same basic idea. Um, the light comes in, hits the surface. On concave converging mirrors, the light goes together. But notice that it bounces back on the other light that comes in from the bottom, hits, and goes like that. Notice that in both these cases, there's a point where the light meets. That'll come in handy later. And then the last type of mirror, light comes in, bounces away. And spreads out like that. Any questions on what the light looks like when it hits the surfaces and does those sort of things? All right. Should be pretty straightforward. Let's look at a few here on the back. All right, so number five. So what is an image? So an image is what forms where the light intersects with each other. So wherever the light meets, that's what an image is. So when you look at something, you're seeing where the light seems to meet. That's what an image is. So when you were looking at the image of the coin, that was where the light seemed to meet up for the coin. Um, same thing when you're looking at the magnifying glass. What you're seeing is where the light seems to meet. So what is an image? An image is the point in space where light seems to intersect. Okay, so how do mirrors do this? So mirrors do this by reflecting light to one specific area. Um, reflecting light to an intersection point. So if you're standing in front of a mirror, here's what that'll look like. 
it's an incredibly tall mirror. Uh, so the light will do something like this. The light that leads your face will go straight to the mirror, hit the mirror, and go straight back. And reach your little eyeballs. Light that was at your feet will go to the mirror, obey the law of reflection, and reflect back to where you can see it. Okay, light that leaves your hand. Going to go to the mirror, obey the law of reflection, and go to your eye. Notice what happens. At your eye, all of the light intersects. And so what do you see? You see an image. You see an image where the uh, light forms, and the light meets at your eye. So where you're standing, where you can see, the image is meeting at that point, and you can actually see yourself in the mirror. Same thing works for curved mirrors. So for curved mirrors, light comes in, reflects, light comes in, reflects, light comes in, reflects straight back, there's a point where the light intersects, and at that point, there will be an image formed. Okay? On the little disc with the coin in it, there's a place where the light intersects, and the light intersects a little bit above the disc, and that's where you can see the coin. So you don't see the coin inside, you see the coin on the surface, or basically on the surface, and that's where all the light meets. So all the light is coming up from the middle, and reaching that middle point. You can tell that the light's there because if I put my hand, uh, if I put my finger, it might be easier to see. Um, you can see that there's an actual reflection of the um, overhead lights that's going to right here where my finger is um, and right here on my hand. And so that's the idea that all of this light is intersecting at one particular place. Uh, and that's what an image is. An image is just where everything forms and meets in one spot. All right, next time we'll talk about real images and virtual images. We'll work on some um, problems with solving these. We'll talk about and go over the labs. So if you're not done with the lab yet, make sure you get that all finished up, all the concept questions. Um, we'll go over the refraction lab, which is the only one we have to go over still. Uh, and we'll kind of keep working our way through life. Okay, good job, y'all. You can have uh, just stay at your seats, but you can go ahead and pack your stuff up.